Hare Krishna devotees, please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to Srila Prabhupada. Uh, firstly, I would like to humbly, humbly apologize to all the devotees for the confusion with the time. I think it's because of the daylight savings time that we had in America a few days ago that caused all this mumbo jumbo confusion. And I think America is the only country in the world, I guess, that has this daylight savings time thing in the spring and the fall. So I really sincerely want to beg for forgiveness from all the devotees was causing such a confusion and especially to Maharaj. Please forgive me, Maharaj. It, all this time change, I think, really got to us. So I apologize if there was any inconvenience caused on my part towards you. No, you actually gave me more time to do something else. Thank you. <laughs> Marge, you're so kind to me all the time. Thank you so much, Marge. <laughs> Welcome the devotees to the morning class. And yes, the class, I'm so happy actually that we get to, to hear Chandramali Swami's class this morning. And Marge will be speaking on Canto 1, Chapter 5, Verse 19. And the topic is um, Srila Na Nada Muni's instructions to Srila Vyasadev on the Bhagavatam. Maharaj, is all yours. I do see that the purport is long. If you want me to read it, I can, Maharaj. It's, it's up to you. I have a, a humble request. Yes, Maharaj, please. Yeah, today is the disappearance day of Madhavendra Puri. Okay. I would like to make that the topic. <laughs> No problem, Raj. It's all yours. You're the boss. Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> Raj, you're mine. If I was the boss, I'd be okay, but I'm, I'm not the boss. <laughs> <laughs> Completely yeah. fine, Raj. Hey, Raj, is there a verse that would, you would like us to pull up for this? Uh, well, there's a whole chapter based on this presentation which is coming from the Chaitanya Charitamrita okay. uh, Lila chapter 4 you can go to verse 197 if you want in that chapter okay Rinda can you do that oh uh I also have to uh, enlighten you on one statement. Yes, Maharaj. Oops. We do change our clocks around the world, but we do it oh, really? at the end of the month. That means it's coming up in a couple of days. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, Maharaj. I thought it was just America that does that. Okay. America just does it at a different time. That's all. Okay. Well, I'm glad last, you corrected the last, me. The last week of March, usually, and so does the UK. They do it the last week of March. Okay, that's good to know, Mars. Thank you so much for correcting me, and thank you so much for letting me know. So I'll be aware when I speak to Lavania Matajio about this, then we can do the whole yeah, thing. That'll, that'll change things drastically because it'll, instead of a half hour difference, it'll be one way, it'll be half hour difference the other way now. Okay. I will discuss with Mother Lavanya. Is, is that okay, Maharaj? And then. Um... Yeah, she, yeah, whatever you decide amongst you. Okay. Let... Okay. Uh, Vrinda, it's Madhya Leela chapter four, Vrinda. Verse nine, 196. Seven. Sorry, 197, Brenda. Next one. Okay. Yeah. This is a famous verse that was created by Madhavendra Puri in his ecstasy of love of God. Ayi dina dayadranata he maturanata kada vavu lok yase. Vridayam tvam maloka kataram daita vramyate kim karomi aham. O my Lord, O most merciful Master, O Master of Matura, when shall I see you again? Because of my not seeing you, my agitated heart has become unsteady. O most beloved one, what shall I do now? The uncontaminated devotees who strictly depend on the Vedanta philosophy are divided into four sampradayas or transcendental parties. 
out of the four Sampradaya, Sri Madhavacharya Sampradaya was accepted by Madhavendra Puri. Thus he took sannyas according to Parampara, the disciple succession. Beginning from Madhavacharya down to the spiritual master of Madhavendra Puri, the Acharya named Lakshmi Pati, there was no realization of devotional service and conjugal love. Sri Madhavendra Puri introduced the conception of conjugal love for the first time in the Madhavacharya Sampradaya. And this conclusion of the Madhavacharya Sampradaya was revealed by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu when he toured southern India and met the Tattvavadis who supposedly belonged to the Madhavacharya Sampradaya. When Sri Krishna left Vrindavan and accepted the kingdom of Mathura, Mathura Srimati Radharani, out of her ecstatic feelings of separation, expressed how Krishna can be loved in separation. Thus, devotional service and separation is central to this verse. Worship and separation is considered by the Gaudiya Madhva Sampradaya to be the topmost level of devotional service. According to this conception, the devotee thinks himself as very poor and neglected by the Lord. Thus, he addresses the Lord as Dina Dayadri Nath, as did Madhavendra Puri. Such an ecstatic feeling is the highest form of devotional service because Krishna had gone to Mathura. Srimati Radharani was very much affected and she expressed herself thus, my dear Lord, because of your separation, my mind has become overly agitated. Now tell me, what can I do? I am very poor and you are very merciful. So kindly have compassion upon me and let me know what, when I shall see you. <clears throat> Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was always expressing the ecstatic emotions of Srimati Radharani that she exhibited when she saw Uddhava at Vrindavan. Similar feelings by Madhavendra Puri are expressed in this verse. Therefore, the Vaishnavas and the Gaudiya Sampradaya say that ecstatic feelings experienced by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu during his appearance came from Sri Madhavendra Puri through Ishwar Puri. All the devotees in line of the Gaudiya Sampradaya accept these principles of devotional service. Umagyan to Mirandasya Gnajana Savakaya Chaksu Umnili Tanya Natasma Shri Gurudhyamaha Ma Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Shri Bhakti Bhakti Vedanta Swami Tinamine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gaudavani Pucharine Nirvisesa Sindhubhadi Pasyat Nade Satarine Panchakalpa, Tarubhishya, Kripa Sindhu, Vebhacha, Patitanam, Pavane, Bhyo, Vaishnave, Bhyo, Namaha, Namaha, Sri Krishna, Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadadhar, Sri Vasavi Gaur, Bhakta Vrinda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare. It was because of Sri Madhavendra Puri who introduced the principle of conjugal love into the teachings of the Sampradaya that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu decided to come in that particular, in this particular Sampradaya. So we can note from this point that how important Sri Madhavendra Puri is. Sri Madhavendra Puri is one of the few exalted personalities that understand the highest metals of devotional love. In one statement, it says, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, only no fourth person, understands the highest principle of ecstatic love for Krishna in the mood of Sri Vrindavan Dham. Madhavendra Puri is an eternal associate of the spiritual world who came to do this work in the material world by bringing Radharani's bhakti into the Sampradaya and then ushering in the appearance of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 
uh, Madhavendra Puri is eternal identity in the spiritual world is he is a Kopa Vriksha tree. And these trees are called desire trees. They can fulfill the desire of anyone. And there are these trees that exist in the spiritual world. He is such one such personality. The entire life story, at least a good part of the life story of Madhavendra Puri, is in this particular chapter of Chaitanya Charitamrita. Madhavendra Puri was such a great personality that uh, decide, he had disciples like Ishwar Puri, Advaita Charya, Parmananda Puri, Brahmananda Bharati, Brahmananda Puri, I'm sorry, Sri Ranga Puri, Pundarik Vidyaniri, Raghupati Upadaya, and others. And some say even Lord Nityananda became a disciple of Madhavendra Puri. Of course, um, others say that they met and there's a beautiful exchange that when Lord Nityananda was traveling throughout India, he happened to come and meet Madhavendra Puri. Upon seeing Madhavendra Puri, Lord Nityananda expressed his uh, happiness in saying, I have been touring so many holy places. Now I've come to that holy place, which is the best of all. And upon seeing each other, they went into ecstasy and started to shed ecstatic tears in embracing each other. The embrace was so long that Lord, uh, that Madhavendra Puri didn't want to let go of Lord Nityananda. And Madhavendra Puri considered Lord Nityananda as a very, very dear, intimate associate. But Lord Nityananda considered Madhavendra Puri to be his spiritual teacher. So this is the quality of Madhavendra Puri's bhakti. It cannot be uh, explained. It's practically on the level of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, or you might even say close to it. Of course, because Lord Chaitanya is Krishna himself. Madhavendra Puri's ecstasy and love of God was constant. He was always, just by seeing him, one could, one who understood the mellows of devotional service can see that he was he was oozing with love of Krishna just by just by looking at him. Um, he's he was also the spiritual master of uh, Advaita Acharya, and there he gave formal initiation to Advaita Acharya. Uh, the beautiful story of the life of Madhavendra Puri I'll narrate in a very succinct and synopsis presentation. And this narration is also was given by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was traveling in Orissa, he stopped at the Ramuna temple. And there, surrounded by a few of his uh, intimate associates, the Lord started to narrate the life of Madhavendra Puri. The same narration came again in the form of Lord Nityananda when he visited that same place. But the narration makes up this particular chapter where Madhavendra Puri uh, was living in Vrindavan and uh, he had been fasting and all of a sudden, during his fast, he, uh, this beautiful little cowherd boy came with a pot of milk and said, hey, Baba, nobody in this village fasts. So here, I brought you some milk. And uh, he was charmed by the presence of the boy. And so he drank the milk. But then he said, how did you know I was fasting? He said, well, some of the ladies who came here to draw some water from the well, they, they told me that you were fasting. So I came. So I'll be back. You drink the milk and I'll come back and get the pot. Right now I have to leave and do 
take care of the cows. So he left. And that night, Madhavendra Puri went to sleep. And then he had a dream. And in the dream, that same boy appeared to him and said, I'm here. And I've been here for many, many years. I am buried in the ground in this area here. My Pujari, who was taking care of me, he was fleeing from the Muslims who were attacking and he put me into the ground. So right now I'm living in the ground and I'm all dirty and I'm cold in the winter time, I'm hot in the summertime. So please, I see you are the fit person to give me service. So please dig me up and establish me, establish my worship. When Madhavendra Puri woke from the dream, he was in even more ecstasy, hearing from Krishna himself, knowing that that same person who appeared to him in the dream was the one who brought him that pot of milk. And then uh, he spoke to a few of the men in the area and they all came with their shovels and uh, tools and they found the area where the deity was buried and dug it up and it was a beautiful deity, Krishna deity, very big, very heavy. So it took some of the strong men to pick him up and they put him on one hill and they erected a little makeshift throne. And then Madhavendra Puri with his own hands cleaned the dirt from the deity. Actually, the deity told him, my name is Gopal. <laughs> so he knew the deity was named Gopal. So he was caring very nicely for Gopal, washing him, cleaning him, bathing him. Finally, he removed all the dirt and then he polished the deity to make him so shiny and beautiful. And when people saw what was happening and realized that Krishna had appeared in this beautiful form and heard the history, they all came. And then Madhavendra Puri, for one continuous month, started to have a festival in honor of Gopal. And people were coming with all kinds of nice foodstuffs, boga, uh, and offering it. And so every day there was a grand festival and worship and distribution of prasadam. This went on for a whole month. And then people in the neighboring villages got word of what was happening. And they also came and brought so many nice items. So this went on for many, many years. The deity was worshipped very beautifully. And, and um, Madhavendra Puri was so happy living in Vrindavan and just taking care of Gopal. But then one night, again, in a dream, Gopal appeared to him and said, you know, in, here, in Vrindavan here, it's very hot. So my body requires to be cooled down. So please get me some sandalwood folk. So in order for that, him to do that, he had to travel outside of Rindavan to get it because sandalwood at that time was under government restrictions. And only one then can, even today in some places in India, sandalwood is still under government restrictions. And so he knew that in, he would have to go to the area of Jagannath Puri to get it. And from Vrindavan to Jagannath Puri is a long way. But he was determined to fulfill the desire of Gopal. And so he left and he traveled for a long time. On his way, he stopped at one temple called Remuna. And there, he saw the beautiful deity whose name was Gopinath. And he started to speak to the Pajaris, what is the offering that you make for your Gopinath deity? And then they described, but well, we have such a unique offering that every evening we offer him this very, very nectar-like tasting cure that is coming from the, from the demigods themselves and is so celestial. So then the offering was just about to be begin. And so the, the, the offering was coming out. The Madhavendra Puri started to think, hmm, boy, I would like to really taste this offering because I would like to prepare it for my deity, Gopal. But then 
he caught himself and he realized, oh, what am I doing? What am I thinking? I'm thinking of tasting it before the deity. This is not good. Of course, we understand this principle that those of us who cook or even those of us in general should never think about the food before it's offered to the deity. Because if we do, then it becomes something different. Everything should be taken as prasadam. That means Krishna should enjoy first. And not, not that we subtly enjoy in the mind before Krishna. So thinking that way, he immediately left the temple and went into the town and sat down and started to chant by himself. That evening, the Pujari received a dream from Gopinath because they would offer eight pots of kir to the deity regularly. And so in the dream, the Pujari was informed by Gopinath that you didn't see, but I hid one of the pots behind my dhoti. And there, this is for Madhavendra Puri. So come, come into the temple and take this pot and bring it to Madhavendra Puri, who is now staying in the town. The Pujari was amazed, shocked, received a special dream from the deity, went to the deity room and there, behind the deity's uh, closed, there was the pot. So he took it and immediately left for the village and started to call very loudly. Gopinath has saved some uh, some care for you. Please come, please come. Madhavendra Puri heard his name called and then he came out and the Pujari and they met. Upon meeting, their natural love for Krishna was awakened because that Pujari was also a great great soul. And then he informed that here, this is very unusual. I can see you are very special that Gopinath has stolen this pot of kir and he wants me to give it to you. So please take it. Madhavan Vipuri was so happy to receive the pot and so he ate everything. He broke the pot into small pieces and then every day he would eat a small portion of that pot as we can understand that the pot was offer, also offered on the altar. So that pot was also the, the, the prasadam of the Lord. So later that deity got a new name. His name was Gopinath. Then he was called Kir Kor Gopinath. It means that one who, Kor means thief. <laughs> so one who steals the, the, uh, the uh, sweet rice, the one who steals the Kir. Gopinath. So then the word got out that Madhavendra Puri was favored by so many, by the Lord. <clears throat> and so people started to come around to meet him. And this was very unpleasant for him. So he decided to leave and he continued on his journey. Uh, it was an arduous journey. Finally, he got to Jagannath Puri. He was able to meet the king of Puri who gave him sanction to receive 80, 80 kgs of sandalwood and nine ounces of, uh, what is that? Nine ounces of, uh, can't think of it now, but we use it for cooking sometimes. Huh? Hmm? Camphor, yeah. Thank you. Nine ounces of camphor and 80 kgs of sandalwood. Now that was a very heavy load. And so he, the king arranged for a cart and some men to accompany uh, Mother Vendrapuri back. And he also gave him papers which were, he could show because there were many checkpoints along the way. And if you were carrying something valuable, you would, they would tax you. But by having received the from the king, he was no longer taxable. 
Finally, he traveled back, and then he again came back to the area of Remuna. When he was Remuna, he decided to stay there for a couple of nights and to see the deity of Gopinath again. So again, when he went to sleep, again, another dream. And this time, Gopal, his deity from Vrindavan, appeared to him in a dream. He said, my dear Madhavendra Puri, you are so dear to me and I can see this journey is, is a very difficult one for you. So therefore, I should express my concern that uh, myself and Gopinath, we are one and the same. So please stay in Rimuna and use the sandalwood and apply it onto the body of Gopinath and you, I will also do, be automatically cooled down by your seva. So he took the drug grinding that sandalwood folk into fine powder and so they could use it for Gopinath. And Bhadavendra Puri stayed there for some time assisting with the worship of Gopinath. Um, and then of course he returned to Vrindavan Dam. Mm -hmm. Now this is a beautiful story and the life of Madhavendra Puri. There are many other wonderful stories, how he met Advaita Charya and gave him initiation. There's one interesting story which shows how Madhavendra Puri didn't discriminate by caste, but showed affection to anyone who was a devotee. There's a class of Brahmins called Sanoriya Brahmins. They are not very uh, uh, high class Brahmins, they're kind of low class, but this one Brahmin who was met by Madhavendra Puri on his travels, he invited him to come to his house. And because this Saraniya Brahmana was a Vaishnava, then the Madhavendra Puri accepted his invitation. But generally, this class of Brahmins are considered to be low class, and people generally who are of the high class caliber of uh, devotees or Brahmins do not accept food from them. But then later on, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was passing in that same area and, and knowing the story of his Param Guru stopped in the house of that same son or son or Riya Brahman and accepted food. There's one other beautiful story, which is very illustrative of Guru Kripa. Madhavendra Puri had one disciple whose name was Ramachandra Puri. Ramachandra Puri uh, was not very much aware of the nature of his spiritual master. Although Madhavendra Puri was always in ecstasy of love of God. So one time Madhavendra Puri was in that ecstasy and Ramachandra Puri came. And when he saw his spiritual master, he was thinking, I should say something. So he started to instruct his spiritual master into the process of Brahman realization. He said, Guru Dev, why are you becoming so agitated? Become dearer, control your mind and fix your mind on Brahman. Oh, and Madhavendra Puri heard what his disciple has said. He became so so angry and he said to his disciple he said let me see I'll give you the exact words here he said get away from me you most sinful rascal. I am in dying in distress of not having received Krishna's mercy and of not having attained Mathura and you have come here to add to my misery. 
go wherever you like, but don't show your face to me again. If I see your face while I'm dying, I will take a lower birth. I'm dying from distress of not having attained Krishna and this lowly fool is teaching me about Brahman. As a result, he withdrew all his blessings from his disciple and later on, Ramachandra Puri, his material desires returned. And then he became a great critic and he also found fault with devotees all the time, and he found fault with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He criticized Chaitanya Mahaprabhu personally by saying, oh, you're a sannyasi, and you eat too much. I can see you eat so much. You're all your disciples, they eat so much. But what he would do sometimes, he would, he would come to when the disciples were about ready to eat, and he would volunteer to serve, and then he would serve the devotees and he would say eat more eat more eat more and then they would do it just to please him and then he would say just see uh, the devotees of lord chaitanya they eat too much so in this way he became a first class critic lord chaitanya was affected by his criticism and decided to cut his eating in half and when the devotees found that out, they were also disturbed because they would like to make so many nice preparations for the Lord and the Lord would eat just to please them. And so now they weren't able to show their love in that way. And so the devotees were very unhappy. And Madhavendra Puri also said to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he came to the, where Lord Chaitanya was staying and he said, just see, there's so many ants on the floor here. I can see that this sannyasi, he at night, he secretly eats sweets. And this is proved by all these ants. And Prabhupada in his narration says, there's ants everywhere in, in India. <laughs> so, but this is a way that uh, Ramachari, Ramachandra Puri used to find fault with the devotees and with Lord Chaitanya. Finally, the devotees were praying, please, Get us free from this person. And soon Krishna arranged, or Maya arranged to have him leave uh, Navadvip and he never came back again. Now, there was another disciple who was the, who became later the spiritual master of Lord Chaitanya was Ishwara Puri. And Madhavendra Puri in his last days was quite of an, it was an invalid and so he couldn't take care of his bodily needs so, so properly. So Ishwar Puri assisted his spiritual master in doing the most menial service of cleaning up after his spiritual master. And he pleased his spiritual master so much that he got blessed to become the spiritual master of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And of course, there's so many beautiful stories of how Lord Chaitanya and Ishwar Puri met in exchange loving experience. Because Ishwar Puri, being blessed by such a great personality as Madhavendra Puri, attained ecstatic love of Krishna also. So through this particular pastime, Madhavendra Puri teaches that one who pleases the spiritual master uh, the path to spirit devotional service is wide open and one who displeases the spiritual master shrama eva he gave alone which means everything you do is a useless waste of time without the blessings of the spiritual master yasya prashada bhagavat prashado yasya prashadan nagati kutopi Nagotiko Topi means no one can make any advancement unless they receive the blessings of their spiritual master. So a devotee makes that their number one focus, how to receive the mercy of Krishna by receiving the mercy of, of Krishna's representative. And that's simply done by seriously, regularly, and with all enthusiasm follow the instructions of one's spiritual master. 
and those who go out of the way to serve the spiritual master, such as those who preach Krishna consciousness, gets to get extra special mercy because the spiritual master's instruction is he would like all his disciples to become instruments in order to preach to the conditioned souls in this time because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's movement is a preaching movement. Well, the spiritual master lives to spread Krishna consciousness and his disciples, if they live for the same reason, then they live with the spiritual master. They never, he, you never lose the association of your spiritual master when you're preaching Krishna consciousness, seriously. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is a little bit about Madhavendra Puri. Please bring that verse back, the uh, actual verse itself. And we'll see it again, the same one. Rinda, the verse that, Ma that, that Maj was preaching on. I can read it, I have it here. Ayi dina dayadra nata he, matura nata kavavo lok yase. Oh Lord, whose heart softens at seeing the conditions of the unfortunate. Oh Lord, O most merciful Master, O oh Master of Mathura, when shall I again see you? Because of not seeing you, my agitated heart has become less unsteady, almost beloved. What should I do now? This this is actually recited by Srimati Radharani. And this was this was Madhavendra Puri's meditation upon leaving the world. He would meditate on this verse. Mm -hmm. Would you like to open for, for, for questions, Mara? Yeah, questions, okay. comments, or perfect. Comments? If there are if there are any comments, uh, questions, uh, reflections, realizations, uh, please do ask. It's a very nice topic of Madhavendra Puri, um, and and I like the pastime Martha that you shared about the pot when um, the little boy was Krishna that brought that to Madhavendra. Puri. But please do ask any questions you have, any comments, any reflections and realizations. Um, I have you all on the on gallery view, so I'm able to see everybody without missing anybody. Um, Marge, I could ask a question, Marge. From the verse, Marge, it said, um, Sri Prabhupada was explaining um, devotional service and separation is very important in this verse. Can you please share more on that, Mara? Yeah, People because that's, service the, and separation. that's the mood of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and that's the mood he taught within for our society. Prabhupada said, our mood is serving Krishna in the mood of separation. And as that mood develops, then it becomes loving Krishna in the mood of separation. Anchoring for Krishna's association, but feeling the absence of Krishna. Thank you, Maharaj. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, that is the Ayinanda, what is that verse? Uh, um, uh, Yugaitam nimeshena chakshushapa vishayatam. Shunyaitam jagat sarvam govinda virahename. That verse written by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was the, what he emphasized as the expression of loving Krishna in separation. Because there is a hankering for union, but because the separation is there, each moment seems like 12 years or more. When you're waiting for something, time is unbelievably slow. 
and if you're hankering in a loving way to meet, then your expression of emotion has reached its height. And then in that, in that emotion, this is Radharani, this is Radharani's mood, one feels that death is even better than the, the pain of this separation. The pain of separation is so, so strong that one welcomes even death. But that's the mood that is being promulgated within our society as how we execute our devotional service. So in a practical sense, it means that I want to do my service so nicely that Krishna comes and wants to accept my service. And then if he comes, then I can meet him. So the mood is chasing after Krishna and the mood of trying to serve him with such love and devotion. So the mood of chasing after Krishna and by trying to attract Krishna to come through the quality of our loving service. That's the, that's the whole mood of, of uh, the Vipra Lumba Bhav separation. Thank you, Maharaj. Are there other questions and comments from devotees? Any? Yes, there, Krishna Prabhu. Hare Krishna, Maharaj. Please accept my humble obeisances. All grace to Srila Prabhupada and glories to you. Thank you so Hare. much, Maharaj, for the very sweet pastimes. Maharaj, one question I have is, uh, you mentioned about the pastime of how Ramchandra Puri was uh, serving the devotees at the same time you were offending also. So that's, I think, very much applicable for uh, at least like me, maybe while serving, we also end up, or I may also be offending devotees knowingly and unknowingly sometimes. So how to understand, Maharaj, uh, that our offenses will always be heavy? They will, they, they will be more heavier than our service? Well, if you're trying to serve your best, Ramachandra Puri was looking for an opportunity to criticize. But in, the case, in your case, you're trying to serve, so if there's some mistake or some offense, then one should apologize if one notices it. If one doesn't notice how they're committing offenses, then one can pray to the Lord and pray to the devotees that please to forgive them for any mistake that he made unconsciously or unknowingly. So if you're trying to serve your best, that's bhakti. But if you make some mistake, then we can somehow not mistake if we commit some offense. But you can't say it's the same as Ramachandra Puri. He was perpetrating the idea of finding fault. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you so much. And so we just apologize, offer our obeisances if we if we feel we've made some uh, offense or some mistake. Devotees do, devotees do that. They say sometimes they say, uh, "Please forgive me if I've committed any offenses." You know, we say that sometimes to other devotees. That's a common thing devotees do. And that's part of the, the uh, etiquette of association. Thank you, Maharaj. Very nice question there, Krishna. Thank you so much. Uh, Diptesh Prabhu, you had your hand up first, so I'll, I'll, I'll go to you first, Prabhu. Thank you. Uh, Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to Shri Rupad, all glory to you, Maharaj. Maharaj, a uh, wonderful and very sweet pastime. So thank you very much for narrating. Um, Maharaj, a question. Who is Madhavandra Puri in, uh, in the spiritual world? Uh, I guess you came late huh? <laughs> for the class. Uh, oh, I was there. Maybe I have missed it. I was thinking that did I miss it? Sorry about that, Maharaj. Yeah, he's a, he's a cup of riksha tree in the spiritual ah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that, that's mentioned in Chaitanya Charitamrita. 
He's a uh, he's very elevated personality. <laughs> Thank you, Maharaj. Mm -hmm. Vivek Prabhu, if you can ask ask your question. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to you, Guru Maharaj. Uh, thank you, Guru Maharaj, for sharing this uh, beautiful pastime of very pop, like I love this Kirchur Gopinath. Uh, and really very keen to see him. Like I have heard so much of his past time. I wish one day I could visit that temple. So, uh, I remember like uh, she, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also was visiting, he was very keen to visit the temple. And he was really, really like happy to see and take darshan. I have one question, uh, Guru Maharaj, uh, related to Srinathji. So Srinathji was discovered by, or like, like he came, in dream of Marvinda Puri, and he uh, like installed him in uh, uh, Govardhan Hill, and mm -hmm. all worshiping everything happened. And he was in Gaudiya Sampradaya. So how come that moved to Balavachara Sampradaya? From oh, that's a big controversy. Yeah, there's a yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's. I remember discussing that about four or five years ago. It came up as a discussion. Yeah, there was, um, yeah, both Sampradayas were claiming, uh, but I think the worship went down and therefore the uh, Balabar Sampradaya took up the worship. Something, something caused that to change. Uh, yeah, so yeah, it's, it's now done by the Balabar Sampradaya. Um, the details are written. I'm not sure exactly where to find it, but I know I read it one time. Um, and there was some, there was also some dispute about who claims the actual worship um, because of the position of Madhavendra Puri also. Uh, yeah, so this it's quite a, it's interesting discussion, but I have to again renew my uh, memory. Sure, thank you, Guru Maharaj. I was not knowing this was a controversial. I just thought it just happened. So yeah, well, it is. It, it became controversial, and then there was a this. Then there was. Later on, claimed by the Balabha Sampradaya. So. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Vivek Prabhu. And I want to apologize that if you have an initiated name, I'm going by what you have. So if I don't know your initiated name, please forgive me, devotees. I'm just going by what you have listed over here. Thank you so much. Are there any comments from other devotees? Questions, reflections, realizations? Um, I'm trying to see if I uh, don't miss anyone. Um, Marge, I have a question. Um, being, uh, for me, being born and raised, you know, Christian and then joining ISKCON right after, you know, from there, I personally don't know much of the four sampradayas. Is it important? Or how important it is for a devotee, an ISKCON devotee to, to really understand. Like, I don't have, I'm very, you know, completely clueless in the four sampradayas. I only know ISKCON. So how important it is, Marge, for, you know, for us to know and understand the four sampradayas? It's helpful, definitely helpful. Because outside of the four sampradayas, there is no authorized bhakti line. <laughs> And that's mentioned in the Shastras that one has to worship the Supreme Lord in one of the four Sampradayas. And Lord Chaitanya, he took two principles from each of the four Sampradayas to make up his principles of uh, devotional service. 
He took two, two from the uh, uh, Rudra Sampradaya, which is headed by Vishnu Swami. He took two from the Sri Sampradaya, headed by Lakshmi Devi. He took two from the uh, uh, Madhva Sampradaya, which was uh, headed by Lord Brahma. And, we became, and he entered that particular Sampradaya. And he also took two from the Nimbarka Sampradaya, headed, uh, 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 headed by the four Kumaras. So each of the Sampradayas have a particular achar, um, Sampradaya Acharya, like that. Uh, it's nice to know. It's very helpful. Give some authenticity. Because if you're asked the question based on Bhakti, where Bhakti can be found someplace else, then you have to have a little bit of knowledge of these four sampradayas and how they worship. And Marj, where can we get that information? Like, how can we learn about the four mm -hmm. sampradayas? Well, that's that's there's separate publications that are given. There's books just on the four sampradaya. Um, there is one book about Vrindavan in that it explains the four sampradayas and the eight principles that Lord Chaitanya adopted. The information is, is scattered through different scriptures. It's also in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, you'll find information on the sampradayas there. So there's where you need to go. Just do some research in CC and you'll find it there. Thank you, Maharaj. Hmm. Any other questions from devotees? Um, reflections, realizations? Um, Maharaj, I have one more question. And when, when you were answering the question for Dear Krishna, I wanted to ask Maharaj on, on, to follow up on this question is, how can one help a person who's a fault finder, who has the <laughs> habit it's like a habit that, you know, it's, it's like sometimes, you know, we see it and we feel so sad, you know, like it's so sad and we feel helpless because we can't help the person, but how can we help the person? Well, when he starts finding fault, just start mentioning the good qualities in the person he's talking about. <laughs> you get the message. If somebody's saying something bad about something, somebody just start talking good about the same person. But do it in a nice way. But yes, what you're saying, but yes, but still, please consider that this person, he did this and she did that and, and she has this good quality and that good quality. So that kind of diffuses their, you know, diatribe. Thank or, you. Yes, Marge. The, the, or Jayananda. Jayananda used to hear criticism of the Vaishnava or anybody. He would immediately just leave. Immediately leave. Because you listen to it, you also become implicated by it. Thank you, Marge. You know, you can excuse yourself. We always say, well, oh, oh I have to go to the restroom. Oh. <laughs> I'll be right back, and then you don't come back. <laughs> or when you come back, then you change the subject and start off with a new conversation. Or something. You know, you just have to derail that thing. If you criticize the criticizer, then you become a critic also. Don't find fault with the fault finders. <laughs> I like that one. Thank you, Martin. <laughs> Are there other questions from devotees? Trying Hare to... Krishna Maharaj. Go ahead, Namrata. Uh, yeah. All, uh, please accept my humble obeisances, Maharaj, and what pranam. 
um so uh, the the conversation of uh, poor sampradayas was uh, going on i have a question from that um so this uh, uh, sampraday the devotees they end up only on the uh, different forms in all these sampradayas or there's a difference in the bhav of their bhakti in all these sampradayas well the, there's sometimes it's just like in the sri sampradaya they worship Sita Ram, Lakshmi Narayan. So their focus is on Sita Ram, Lakshmi Narayan. They work. They worship in the mood of Aishwarya Bhav, opulence. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the difference is in the uh, maybe in the incarnation or like that. And the focus of the worship. The difference is the focus of the worship. In the uh, in the uh, Nimbarka Sampradaya, they worship Krishna in the mood of the gopis. They're similar, very similar to us. Mm -hmm. okay. And Charya, so who's in also in our line, and they worship in the mood of Lakshmi, Lakshmi Narayan. So, uh, the, some worship in and Aishwarya Bhav and some worship in Madhurya, in Madhurya Bhav. Sweetness as opposed to opulence, Vrindavan as opposed to Vaikuntha. Okay, Maharaj. Thank you. Yeah. So our, our mood is, is Krishna and Vrindavan. Madhurya Bhav. Yeah. Which is the highest bhav? Of course, it could be Vatsaya bhav, it could be Sakya bhav. But the focus is Krishna. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you for the question, Prabhu. Thank you so much. Are there other questions from devotees? Are there comments, reflections, realizations? What's a reflection? Um, something that you said, Marge, and it's like, oh, duh, Anasuya, makes sense. That's what I call a reflection for myself. <laughs> something that, that made me go deeper, you know, like, like when you just said, Marge, like, don't find fault with the fault finder. I was like, oh, and it had me reflect deeper into it. That's how I look at it as reflection. It makes me go deeper and really reflect on the point and think about it. Sorry, Mark, if I use something wrong. No, I was just wondering what you I didn't even know what you meant by reflections. Now I do. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Marge. <laughs> and I think also I've heard from Bhakti Tattu Swami, he would always tell us, you know, when you, uh, you know, when you hear something, reflect on it, go deeper and meditate on it. And yeah. yeah. Yeah, sometimes uh, yeah. Uh, an element of gravity. <laughs> Jai Sri Devi. <laughs> I have one for you, uh, Anasuya. You ready? Yes, Marja, I think I am. <laughs> okay, this is by Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. Okay. When the faults of others disturb you, look inside yourself and see what what is it about yourself that is causing you to become disturbed. Wow, when the faults of others when the faults of others disturb you, look inside yourself and see what about yourself is causing you to become disturbed. I'm writing it down, Maharaj, because that is really <laughs> deep. <laughs> that is yeah. really deep. Yeah. Then you'll never become a fault finder. Wow. 
Marja, if I can ask you, Marja, you, you said look inside yourself to see if you could, I'm sorry. See, to see what about, if the faults of others are causing disturbance in you, mm -hmm. look inside yourself and mm -hmm. see what is about yourself that's causing you to become disturbed. Yourself is causing you to become disturbed. That will be a whole lifetime of reflection. <laughs> I didn't tell you, I, I didn't say it was going to be easy. <laughs> <laughs> no, Marjorie, but, I, but, but it's really deep and I thank you so much. I mean, definitely, that is really deep. That's Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. So. Wow. We've been getting quotes on that. That is the most reasonable and makes one's progress. Dr. Brett, I'm sorry, you have a question. And yes, Mother Gita, you can text me. Yes, mother, I can text you the comment. Dr. Brett, do you want to ask your question? Yes. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisance. I'll go to Sri Prabhupada. I'll go to Sri Maharaj. Um, Maharaj, just piggybacking off um, talking about fault finding, I was reading this verse in Chaitanya Chaimitra, Adir Lila, chapter 8, Shloka 62, where they're uh, speaking about Haridasa Pandita and how he lived a dosa darsi, never saw fault in others. Um, he said, for flies seek sores where its honey bees seek honey. Haridasa Pandita never found fault with the Vaishnava, but considered only his good qualities. And I was reflecting on that, Maharaj. Is there, when I think of how flies seek sores and honey bees seek honey, I think how honey bees work individually for the greater good of their family, whereas flies sort of like flock in like a group towards, you know, the stool. And I, I looked at that as maybe a bad association. Maybe bad association is how one can lead to living a life where they seek fault in others and not the nectar, the sweetness of life in others. And you could speak on Haridasa Pandita Maharaj. Yeah, that's a, that's a topic of discussion for worldly people. They're always talking about somebody else's faults and problems. <laughs> For devotees, we try to talk about Krishna or devotional service. For a spiritual master, for a teacher, and for a guru, I mean, from a spiritual master, a teacher, and a parent, they have to find fault <clears throat> in their disciples, in their students, in their children in order to correct them. But that's done in the mood of service in the mood of concern. <clears throat> but that's the only place where it is allowed when it's done <clears throat> from a superior to one who is conducting uh, or guiding those below them. And then so there are some pointing out of certain wrongdoings in order for them to improve, overcome these things. But generally, we don't worry about the faults of others. We just go on with our devotional service. We're too busy. The idea is become busy enough in your own activities and you don't worry about the faults of others. They may be there they may not be there, but it's just not a concern, that's so. all. Thank you, Krishna. Thank you, Maharaj. Nice question, Britt. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Other questions from devotees? Any um, comments, reflections, realizations? Oh. Okay, Maharaj, would you like to end with a one round of chanting, Maharaj? Yeah, today's a courtesy, right? Yes, oh, for us was yesterday in U.S., East Coast. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, U.S. always has to be ahead of everybody. <laughs> <coughs> okay, sorry about the criticism. <laughs> <laughs> no, Maharaj, it was just funny the way you said it. <laughs> 
I didn't mean to criticize. <laughs> no, no, no. I apologize. It's okay, Mark. Okay. Yeah, we can do one round of Japa. Today is kind of see for us here and on this side of the world. Okay, Jai Sri Krishna, Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita, Gadadara, Sri Vasudhi, Gaur, Bhakti Vrinda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Hari Hari. Hare Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, 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 Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna.
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Rama, 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 Hare Hare. Thank you very much. I have to go. We'll see you again. Thank you so much, Maharaj. His Holiness Chandramani Swami Ki Jai. Thank you.